In my opinion, mini twists are the best natural protective style, hands down. If you want something cute, if you want something, it's not quick for sure. But if you want something that's going to last, mini twists is definitely the style for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Garcelle. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I do natural hair challenges, lifestyle type of videos. I posted these pictures on my Instagram and you guys blew it up. I got a couple DMs asking me about my hair. So today I figured I'd do a mini twist tutorial, my signature look right here for you guys. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into this video. I washed my hair a few weeks ago using the same products that I used in my last hair care routine video, which was Miel. <laughs> I love those products. Like, I don't know why it took me so long to use Miel products or purchase them. They had that sale going on. I indulged and I got everything I ever wanted and my hair is finally, my hair is thanking me for it. I have a code. <laughs> I can say that now. <laughs> I have a code, I'll leave it down below and you guys can go ahead and splurge and purchase Miel for yourself as well. I will be doing my mini twists on stretched hair. I am trying to steer away from blowing out my hair simply because I noticed a change. I noticed from 2020 to like 2022, my hair was fuller than it is now. So I'm just starting to be very careful with the amount of heat that I'm using on my hair. And literally the only time that I would use heat on my hair is when I'm doing my mini twists because I love to do it on blown out hair. But now I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep doing it on stretched hair. And it gives me just about the same same results it's just not as smooth if that makes sense when I'm doing my mini twists I don't like to use any product at all only when I get to the front around the edges that's when I'll use a little bit of edge control or something like that but I do not like product on my hair for my mini twists especially if you're keeping in your style for a while as I am I don't like to use any product on my hair I don't want my scalp to be irritated or flaky so that's why I do that I also don't use a rat tail comb for parting I only use it at the front of my hair just to make it very neat. I do all of that to avoid breakage. With all that being said, let's start twisting. So it is 1.25 and I'm starting my first twist. Usually this takes me about a full day, like a full morning to night day. Um, it depends definitely on how small I'm doing them. Today I really wanna go for the look that I did last time. So I think I'm going to be here for a while. I have a mirror right here, some snacks right here, and my computer right there just so I can watch some YouTube videos while I'm filming a YouTube video. Especially because this takes a while, you wanna make sure that you're entertaining yourself, make sure that you're having a little bit of fun with it. Although it does take time, I really do enjoy doing my hair. So first twist is done, and this is how long she is. My hair has really grown since the haircut that I had in the beginning of the year. I think with me keeping my ends tucked away and out of my hands, out of my face, I'll definitely be like waist length area, maybe by next year. She's growing. So I'm going to get some of my hair done and then I will be right back. So I finished the back half of my hair and that did take a little bit longer than I anticipated only because I had little things I had to get done around the house. I had to stop to order food as well. I ordered Uber Eats. I got some Jamaican food so I'm going to take a little break to eat. Please make sure you're eating while you're doing your hair and especially if you're taking this long because sometimes I would literally go the entire day just trying to sit and finish and focus on my hair and today's not one of those days. I'll be back when my whole backside is completed and I'll be showing you guys how I do my front. So it's the next day and I literally have half of my whole head left. I underestimated how much hair I had on my head. I thought I was gonna finish yesterday, but uh, I did them really small and this is how I went to sleep. Whenever I do my mini twists on hair that is not blown out, I have to stretch it out so that I can still keep my length, just make the style last a little bit longer. So I just banded it to go to sleep. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to show you how I twist my hair when I need to go somewhere and I need to put a hat on. I'm just going to twist like these parts, right? And then I'm going to put my hair this part like back in a braid or something like that so it can lay flat if you're ever in a rush and you're not able to spend 
so much time doing your hair this is a little hack that I like to do so now is when I'm going to use rat tail combs to make my parts in the front so we can get it neat and the front is where people see the most so you want to make sure that it's really neat right there so I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and make a section right here I did them really small as you can tell so I'm going to split this in half and then start twisting when you're twisting your hair, you want to make sure that it's even on both sides so that you don't get to the bottom and run out of hair. And also I have been detangling with a Denman brush. And then once I get to the bottom, I don't twist all the way at the bottom, I just coil it around my finger. and leave it like that. This is what that first twist is looking like. And now I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side. All right, so I'm back and I Put a braid here, put a braid here as well, so that I'm able to put a hat on and I could get about the rest of my day. And later on when I do have the rest of the day and time to do my hair, I will be able to sit and pick up where I left off. So I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm doing my hair again. I'll see you in a bit, bye. So I'm back, this is what my hair is looking like. I went out like this with a hat on i just don't have it in me to walk around florida looking like this i just i just couldn't do it i kind of like put it to the back like this and then just put a hat on the hat sat perfectly right now it is 8 30 p.m i'm not wasting any time i will be completing with this tonight i refuse to spend a whole nother day with my hair being undone <laughs> i just don't feel like it i just don't i don't want to do all right, let's knock this out. So although my hair is like super healthy and long and thick, I still have scalp problems. I have a very flaky scalp. I've had a flaky scalp since I was a child. I really don't know what to do to kind of like manage it. So if you have any tips or tricks, home remedies, whatever, of how to cure your flaky scalp, please leave them down below because I literally washed my hair like three days ago. So there's no reason why my hair, my hair is not dirty. I just have a dry scalp and I've, I've always had it. So let me know down in the comments, what do you do to manage your dry and flaky scalp? Leave a comment if you've ever thought about locking up your hair. Like the micro locks, the sister locks. Like I wanna do it so bad so that my hair could look like this. Like this is so cute. Like I would so rock this. A nice ginger lock type of vibe. Oh yeah. I contemplate every time I do my mini twists. What if I should just like leave it in? You know, like what if I should just like leave it in and like lock it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side. All right, so if you notice, this twist is going this way, and this twist is going this way as well. They're both going the same direction, and this one needs to kind of be going the opposite direction, because when I try to put my hair in a ponytail, 
this one is more laid back and this one is kind of like turned inward i don't know if that entirely makes sense but it's kind of a problem when i'm trying to put my hair in a ponytail so in the front here i kind of try to twist it left to right but um i did my best it's not as like you know neat as this side that's one thing to keep in mind if you want to do different hairstyles with your mini swisses i'd say for that you want to kind of focus on the front um do it with the front more so than like the rest of your hair so i am all done with my hair and this is what she is looking like my hair is definitely longer than I thought it was, which is exactly why this took two days, two whole days to film. When you're growing out your hair long, please expect to be doing your hair for a while. So even though I'm done twisting, I'm not done yet. You see the ends of my hair is kind of like frizzy and not tamed. I like to use a holding cream at the end of my hair just so that I can have extra hold down there. It gives the curls at the end a more uniform look. So what I do is I take a little bit on my finger and then I coil it at the end. Doing this will definitely cause your hair to shrink a little bit, but the way that I go to sleep with my twists will now be adding more length, so I'm not compromising too much length doing this method. So I wanted to compare the two sides. This is coiled and this is not coiled. There is a huge difference. Um, I feel like the, my left side just looks more uniform. It looks more put together. It lays a little better. And then the right side is also, I mean, if you want to keep your hair like this, you totally can. It still looks good, but I just favored this side way more. And then the results I get from my twist outs when I do this technique is insane. I just love the way it makes my twist outs turn out. So definitely try it. Try it with and try it without doing this method or this technique and see what you like better. But I definitely like this side better. I am all done. I'm done. And I can't wait to go to sleep. Oh my goodness, I'm so exhausted. So I'm going to be putting these scrunchies in to hold my hair while I go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you decide to do some mini spaces, please tag me on Instagram because I really want to see how you guys make your mini swisses come out. I'm so in love with the way that these came out. The growth is insane. With all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Imagine if I left it in and let it lock up. It became, um, my name is Cody. I'm an assistant. I'm so ready to finish. This took way longer than I thought it was going to take. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.